part two of categorizing all rocks in Minecraft. If you have not seen part one, go watch it, please. But then again, I can't make you. Or can I? Now moving on to the last category, we have the unknown. These are rocks that do not exist in real life, or if they do exist, they might be found in multiple different rock types, which makes the job of categorizing them a little bit difficult, but there are some areas where I can narrow them down. And starting in alphabetical order, we have bedrock. Its location makes me think metamorphic because it's deep in the earth. I'm associating more of the igneous rocks with the nether. And we don't have that many metamorphic rocks, so I'm trying to shove as many into that category as I can. So bedrock, metamorphic. Next up, we have blackstone, also unknown. I'm thinking igneous for this because it's the color and location. It's surrounded by lava in a lava world. So most rocks there I'm willing to wager are lava, magma based. Then we have the copper ore. So copper ore exists in real life, obviously, or else our modern society would not exist as we know it if it didn't. But it can be found in both igneous and sedimentary rocks. However, given how common it is in Minecraft, I went with categorizing it in the ore that's most commonly found in to represent how common it is in Minecraft, which is an igneous rock. It's called chalcopyrite. I hope I pronounced that right. Edit, it's not right. It's chalcopyrite. I don't know how I missed the pyrite clearly visible at the end. But it's an igneous rock, so I'm saying Minecraft copper ore is igneous. Next, we have deep slate. I'm also wagering that would be a metamorphic given its location. It could be igneous though, just because there's also pockets of lava. Next up, we have dripstone. It's pretty obvious that these are supposed to be stalagmites and stalactites. So with that information, we can tell that this is a sedimentary rock, but not just any sedimentary rock, it's a form of limestone called tavertine. Up next, we have the emerald ore. Okay, so this is actually a type of beryl. Emeralds can be found in all types of rocks, so it's a little bit tricky for classification. However, I'm going to bet everything on one scientific paper I read, because in that, it's very interesting actually, I would recommend you read it. But the paper goes over places emeralds can be found. And the long answer is yes, it can be found everywhere. But to produce a gemstone quality emerald, it's going to be in sedimentary rocks. Since Minecraft emeralds look gemstone quality, like that's clearly faceted and it's quite large. It's as big as Steve's fist. I'm going to say that emerald ore in Minecraft is a sedimentary rock. In stone. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky. But if you look at it, it has some clues. The color is a big indicator and it has like a porous looking texture. Also, it's floating in the air, which when I think of stones that float, well, there's none that float in the air unless you look at like volcanic ash. And obviously this is not ash, but something else that does float is pumice. Pumice is an igneous rock formed after a volcanic eruption, has the same sort of texture and vibe. I feel like it could match this really well. So maybe in stone is some variation or similar. So I'm going to say igneous rock. And then we have gold. Gold ore? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna say quartz though because you can just find gold veins in quartz ore and I think that looks cool. So I'm gonna say that the gold ore in Minecraft is a quartz gold ore, which means that it's an igneous ore. Same thing for the iron ore, but it's not in the quartz. Netherrack. So netherrack, this one's pretty obvious. It's in the land of lava. Lava? Do we remember what lava means? Lava? Yes, I'm thinking it's igneous. Now redstone ore, this one's pretty ambiguous. I, I don't know. Because if it was just something that conducted electricity or energy, I would say it's like copper, but it doesn't. It's an energy source. So it could be radioactive. With that in mind, I'm going to say this is the only truly unknown rock in Minecraft. So in crystal, it's unknown, but frankly, I don't think it's a mineral. I think it's something artificially made. So it's a man-made mineral sort of like a man-made diamond, like technically it could be something, but it doesn't fit the criteria of being naturally made, so it doesn't count. And then we have glowstone, it's also unknown. It could be igneous just because of the location, but considering it glows, I don't know. Actually, I actually have a theory about this one. Okay, so I'm thinking it's some type of glass or maybe some type of obsidian, bubbly obsidian, that has pockets of some type of material that glows under heat. Look at the texture. It sort of looks like it has a bubbliness to it. And that pocket could be filled with something that when you heat it up, it starts glowing. So I'm tentatively saying that this is a igneous rock. Netherite. Also pretty sure that's artificially made because that's literally made using ancient debris. That does not count. This is not a rock. Now nether star. This actually wouldn't be a mineral. I'm pretty sure it would be categorized like a pearl. It's an organic gemstone or a kidney stone. 
I'm playing, not a kidney stone, but look at them. They sort of look like a mineral. And then we have prismarine crystals. When I first heard of it, I thought it was aquamarine, which is actually a type of beryl, so it's very closely related to an emerald. These can be found in metamorphic rocks called pegmatics. That being said, I'm going to guess that prismarine is a form of aquamarine, and aquamarine is metamorphic. Last but not least, we have the iconic stone herself, the cornerstone on which all of Minecraft is built. Are you getting the pun? It is the stone block. Now this one at first, you don't think it has many clues because it's gray. It really doesn't even have that much texture. It's a gray rock. There is nothing interesting about it. But I think you can look at what it forms. Minecraft is notorious for having caves. That's like part of its gig. And you know what forms caves really, really, really easily? limestone and you know what limestone looks like yeah the reason why limestone makes a cave system so easily is because it's reactive to a weak acid found in rain okay it's called carbonic acid and when that seeps through the soil into the limestone it slowly but steadily weaves its way through over time, the area being dissolved will just get bigger and bigger because that's where the water wants to go. It wants to go on the path of least resistance. That will form these caves. So that's why I think stone is limestone. And limestone is sedimentary. So there we go. We got all 32 rocks and minerals categorized. Let's go. Sorry for the wait on this one. It's been like a month and a half since I last uploaded. That's very sad. I have no excuse other than that. I've been busy with school. Every college student's excuse for anything ever. I could commit like a, a federal crime and I'd be like, but, but your honor, you don't understand. I had calculus. And they would pardon me instantly. It just goes like that. Thank you for making it to the end and thank you for your support. Here's other places you can find me and goodbye.